Well, good morning, Mr. Mike. How are you? Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. You look fancy driving in that big old truck of yours. <laughs> I don't know about <laughs> fancy, but I'll take it. <laughs> and that that must be the day to day job. Is is in the truck? Yes. And what do you do out there? You just drop loads. Uh, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> um, well, thanks for coming on with me this morning. It was uh, great to have you on and talk to you about the upcoming stuff. Um, we have uh, some weird news we normally start with in the morning, uh, kind of just to make you crack and laugh at the first sight. So um, it's actually weird news in Florida. Yeah, it's cool, though. So a teacher filed for a student loan, and more than 20 years later, she gets a bill for a million dollars. Jacksonville. I think I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, and that's crazy, right? Like, how would, like, I mean, who wants to go to school? If they're going to have to pay a million dollars when they get done. I mean, well, it just makes you wonder what what kind of idiot let that slip through the cracks this whole time and then decide, oh, this person owes a million dollars. I mean, they can't <laughs> they can't figure out how that happened uh, before mean, they send her a bill. Yeah, don't like hospital bills drop off after seven years. Like <laughs> that's not a thing. right. <laughs> well, you uh, ne you never escape student loans. Yeah, never. well, it's a good thing I never well. I paid for my school outright, and I only went to EMT school, so it wasn't that much. So, they're like, you're going to risk school? It. Yeah, I was an emergency medical technician for for a while, so, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's not a bad field. Yeah, yeah uh, you know, the, the it, no, uh, there she is, Miss Bonifay. Good morning. How are you? Um, the, uh, you know, it's, um. It's different. Uh, the, the, the Very stressful. Students, yes. It, it, it's emotionally stressful. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, there was a lot of stuff that uh, I just, you know, I couldn't wrap my brain around. So uh, I went back stripping. You know, it was better. <laughs> <laughs> I made more money. <laughs> Easy money. Yeah, That's right. I mean, it was $13 an hour to be an EMT and you went home with $2,000 a night being a stripper. So it was just, it was easy. <laughs> kind of hard to pick there. <laughs> I mean, when you're 21 and dumb, I mean, it wins. So, right. you know, um, Florida man pleads to guilty after touching a 21 year old woman in flight, claiming he wanted to be a part of the Mile High Club. Is that the one that they duct tape to the seat? The 76 year old, yes. <laughs> oh, no, that's completely different. No, um, the uh, I seen uh, there was a kid that right. they uh, uh, I don't know, he was 20 something years old. They had to take the seat belts and the, the extenders and wrap around him, and they they taped him to the seat and uh. I saw, I saw that video. That was pretty hilarious. No, this one was the 76-year-old man uh, performing lewd acts and touching a 21-year-old on the leg without her consent. Boston bound, claiming he wanted to be part of the Mile High Club. Yeah, that's uh, a pretty pretty good reason, I guess, if any. I mean, he's 73. I feel like she should have gave it to him. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let him get by with that one? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's probably some that would, but apparently he didn't run across uh, that one. No, nah, she must have been Karen. It was Karen on the flight to Boston. <laughs> uh, wild hogs attack Palm Coast neighborhood at 2.30. Wild hogs raved havoc through a senior residency uh, community uh, crossing over the superdivision tacking neighbors. Now, that I can believe. Uh, have you seen wild hogs on the side of the road? Yes. 
Yes, I, 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 I've actually hunted them several times, actually. When, I mean, they tear shit up. Yeah. Like that. They, yeah. Uh, they don't fuck around. The, the whole, you can tell where they've been, uh, for sure. There's, there's no doubt about it. You've never been and, hog uh, hunting? I haven't. And that's, I, I, I kind of, I kind of feel bad for myself because, I mean, that was one of the things I planned on doing once I moved down here. And, um, because I used to hunt deer and everything. Right. Up in Missouri. And then I moved down here and it all came to a stop. Of course, for the longest time, I didn't really know a whole lot of people, you know, who were into it or had any land where I could hunt or anything like that. So I just didn't have any connections. Right. And I stayed too busy to really make any and, you know, to make the time to, to actually, you know, go hunting. So um, that, uh, it, it, I, I, I kind of, I, I should have I should have made more effort, right? But I just haven't. My my uncle goes hunting a lot, so we you know as a kid we always went you know hog hunting, frog gigging, you know all that that fun stuff. Uh, right. And uh, he never went like to go deer hunting down here too much. He always said that they look like greyhounds, so he'd go up, <laughs> he'd go up to Ohio and, and we have pro he, they, we have family property up there so that's where he goes and and hangs out and does all that stuff but yeah when we were doing wild hogs when we were little we turned the dogs loose and one time this one came running right after me and we had to climb up the tree real fast like that oh yeah they'll tell you tear your ass up real quick <laughs> absolutely in a heartbeat mm-hmm so today is Britney Spears birthday did you know that? Uh, happy birthday to her. Yeah, she's a, a, I don't really know how old she is, but she's was born in 1981 and has a number one hit with Baby Hit Me One More Time. She was born in 81, then that makes her 41. Oh. I believe. Look at you and your numbers. Well, I was born in 79 and I'm 43, so it wasn't hard to figure out. <laughs> Actually, it might, she might be... Uh, She might just be turning 40. Maybe. Yeah. It's something November. like that. It's November. Is yours after? After, uh, January, after January? Yeah, mine's February. Oh, hey. We did a whole little thing on, you know, people being born in the months. And February is the rarest month to be born in. Did you know that? Well, it's got the fewest days. So I guess that's probably, <laughs> probably part yeah. of it. Yes, yes. Well, I mean, you're only short like a couple. I mean, right. not that many. Well, but it's got to make some sort of a difference. I'm sure. Give me okay. just a second. I got to I got to walk in here real quick. Yes, sir. Yeah, if y'all could just get the lock. Thank you. All right. Mike Parker at his day job, everybody. He's not only right. a rock star, <laughs> he's a responsible adult too look at this it's great yeah. <laughs> this is what you call paying the bills oh yeah i understand very much so the, uh, uh, the weekend money is uh is band money or, or drinking money i should say right so well uh so speaking of band, what do you guys have coming up well um I'm actually filling in with uh, Blue Collar Band tonight, okay. along with uh, my new bass player, Marcus Lee. Right. Uh, two of us are going to be helping Ed and Colleen out and uh, throwing down some tunes at the Apple. Heck yeah. I think, uh, not even sure what time it starts, 7 or 8 o'clock, somewhere in there. I imagine it's probably 8 o'clock, or it could be 7. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up uh, later before I figure out what time I got to be out there, but, well, uh, no, go ahead. it's best to be there by seven. So then that way, if you guys do go on at eight, if someone gets a nice little seat anyway, so. Right. Well, filling in with, uh, with those guys, it's a lot easier for me because I'm not setting up sound equipment and, um, right. I just got to show it with my microphone. So that makes it pretty easy. Uh, and I really only have to be there about 30 minutes early. Right. So, um, but yeah, uh, 
going to fill in with those guys tonight. And then my band will be playing at Raccoons Saturday night. Um, that's a new venue for us. We just started playing there. Uh, now, where's that at, really? That's in, like... Val Rico. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I, I know. I think it's right across the road from Jimmy B's. Don't quote me on that. But if I'm not mistaken, it's it's right across from there. But um, it's a very good live music joint. Um, the people in there are are really hip to the the music, and uh, it's it's a really good time. We've uh, we've only played over there uh, one time as my band. I filled in with uh, Blue Collar over there uh, one weekend as well. Right. But um, but yeah, uh, they're they're really into the music, and uh, it's a good time. And uh, our good friends, uh, Spank and Sadie, they're actually playing there tonight. There was a cancellation. Um, so we got them plugged in there. And uh, mm -hmm. they'll actually be debuting at Raccoons tonight. So uh, Polk County takeover of uh, Raccoons over in Valrico this weekend. Heck so. yeah. That's yeah. right. Uh, Spread now, the love. Yeah. It's a good location, too. I've seen the, That's right. seen the uh, places it's, you know quite a big place to play so yeah there's and there's lots of people who uh who show up you know just for the music so right good, good time heck yeah well that's gonna be awesome do you uh are you guys uh coming out to um leo's on the 11th uh what is the 11th um the 11th is sunday is that is that toys for tots uh yes that is Toys for Tots. I may be there. Um, trying to think. I, I might have something on my calendar that day. But uh, but if not, we will definitely be there. I know Spank and Sadie will be there for that. So yeah, we, we have try to get out and support them as much as possible. The um, I think Leo has the lineup with Crowview, Aurora's, Zero Effect, Irate, Spank and Sadie, um, I talked to Rich the other day, and so the Bourbon Brothers aren't on that list no more. They have a, they have some, they have to, um, some one of the band members are out of town. So then it's uh, Power Surge and Black Satin and Lily Bong. So sounds like um, a pretty good lineup. Yeah, Power Surge. We got an interview with in January. We're doing a, a, a masquerade party, so that should be a lot of fun. That's cool. Us girls are getting really girly into like the corset dresses and the masks and stuff. So we've had like a huge, <laughs> a huge any, hat on that. <laughs> any reason to dress up? That part. But yeah. you know, if you make it a party and you make it a reason to dress up, people are more in tune to play along. You know, and yeah, I mean, especially, you know, special occasions and stuff. I mean, you know, you can play a holiday or, or uh, a special day, but right. if you make it something cool, then it tends to get a little more involvement. Yeah. And well, um, I've January always had good luck with it. Yeah. January is my birthday, so we kind of wanted to go all out for that interview. So right. kind of like a birthday party slash interview party slash like let's have fun. Um, so, you know, the girls are going to come out. We're going to, um, power surge is going to come out. I don't know if you know their manager, but Rebecca, she's, um, she's awesome. So Rebecca and Samantha and me have all been, uh, core corresponding with our whole little corset outfits. It's been great. Right. <laughs> Who can get the sexiest and that's great. <laughs> <clears throat> Normally the sexiest means the sluttiest. <laughs> just been my experience <laughs> oh man this is great i don't know who did this but this is great so i'm running off of my youtube channel and they put beautiful girls here girls 18 <laughs> site oh that's cool so if you want to see you know nudies apparently <laughs> well they probably they probably caught your uh, comment about the strippers earlier <laughs> and um <laughs> They're trying to. <laughs> they're trying to catch up. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to capitalize on it. Uh, we're doing a um, 
a single dad's uh, single dad's Christmas on the 17th at Leo's too. Um, we so far we got a uh, love pit atomic cherry structured sound and ascending radius coming out for that. So we're going to kind of do like our music for mamas type thing, except for raise money for single dads. So single um, dads Christmas. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Uh, you're, so you're raising money for single dads. Yes, yes, yes. Well, okay. to help them for Christmas. Good morning, Mark. I was, I was just trying to figure, uh, <clears throat> I was just trying to figure out how, how, what made it a single dad's Christmas, but okay. You're well, okay. Money, so these it. dads that I've like, we have, a, okay. So the bands that are inquired and me are nominating these dads. One friend of mine, um, a dad and he literally has his kids 24 seven. Um, so, you know, he, he doesn't share responsibility with anybody. He is all in all a single dad. Um, well, hello, hello from sure. Ireland. How are you? <laughs> um, the um, so the single dads, a hey, just a second. Sorry, you're okay. Ooh. well, hello, Mark. How are you? Did you just get off work? Yeah, he's driving too. It's weird. He like took his whole self off. Hi from Ireland. Hello, Ireland. There you are. I yeah. found you. So apparently, <clears throat> so I get like probably a hundred spam calls a day. I pissed off one of the telemarketers who called me um, because, I mean, they, I told them I'm not interested and they just kept trying to sell me. And I was like, okay, you know, uh, uh, suck my dick and then, you know, pissed them off. And then after that, I've got like a hundred calls a day. So I guess they're just blowing my phone up on all these uh, calling uh, 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 apps. And, uh, yeah, every time it tries to ring through, I lose the connection, and then I have to start over. So uh, I apologize for that. I don't have any way to, to block it, really. It's okay. I'm it's gonna, fine. It's I'm, totally fine. T <laughs> I guess you're not going to piss off them spam callers anymore. Well, I mean, it's 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 a good way to uh, to really uh, uh, let out some frustration if you need somebody to take it out on. That is very true. That is very true. Although I normally start with you know uh, like um, uh, Miller's Mortuary, you stab them, we slab them, and then they just don't call back. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> well, but. These days, you're not talking to a person who answers the phone, so it's a uh, it's a dialer, and you know they it, a, a robot that listens to your answers and then patches you through to somebody else, who then patches you through to somebody else. Mark Shira said, "Look at that sexy man." <laughs> oh, Mark. <laughs> I like Mark. I actually met Mark on his birthday. He, uh, it, it's it's a story he likes to tell, but he's not here to tell it. So I guess I'll tell it. Um, he uh, he hit me up and and invited me out to his birthday. Uh, he was going to see this uh, this band that he'd heard about and uh, and just wanted to invite me out to check it out. And come to find out, it was my show at the Bay that <laughs> that he was he was going out to see, he didn't realize that, that that was my band and we were playing there, but he'd heard a lot about it. He wanted to come check us out. So, uh, he's laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool though. Yeah. Mark's a really good friend of mine. I've known him for a while. I met him, um, at OTC when I was a bartender there yep. and, uh, but he's a really good buddy. He's also a truck driver too, as well. I so know that he works nights. So that's kind of funny. But uh, yeah, little truck buddies here. Choo -choo. There's, a, there's, a, there's a few of us. <laughs> there is. Y'all are uh, a special breed, that is for sure. That is it true. Takes, it does take a special breed to be a truck driver. I mean, I'm just saying. It does. It does. And, and there's a lot to trucking. There are a lot of different aspects. You know, you got, you got the guys that drive over the road, which I've done a little bit of. Um, 
I didn't care for it. Um, but my dad was a truck driver, and I used to go with him in the summertime when school was out. Right. And uh, uh, got to see, you know, all 48 states that way. And I'd seen right. a bunch of them before then, but when he became a truck driver, you know, he'd just get out, and I was his navigator. And there weren't smartphones or anything like that, so you had road atlases, and you had city maps, and, and that's how you found out where you were going. So right. uh, I uh, I did a lot of that for him while uh, while I was just sitting over there in the other seat watching the road go by. I remember taking a trip when I was when I just got my driver's license. I think I was like seventeen. And I had to go on MapQuest and print out directions. And I was going to Alabama. And right. I, the good old days. Yeah, 16 to, pages of, of turn left and turn right and, and follow this road. And, reset your mo- your little thing so you know yeah. how many miles you've done gone so you don't go too far. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so you know where, where, to, where to look for the, the turn at. Yeah. Kids got it so good these days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So easy. So easy. Wait, I, I bet you you say MapQuest and they'd be like, "Is that an app?" Oh yeah, yeah. I have no clue. It probably is an app now, though. I mean, um, I don't. I, I mean, I'm I'm sure it's probably still a thing, but just not a very popular thing. Probably not. Probably not. No, I think uh, Google Maps wins over Waz any day. Well. It does, but you know, there's still people out there with flip phones that uh, that don't care to have the internet on their phones and stuff. So they would probably still use something like that. I like flip phones. Oh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with a, a flip I phone. Couldn't I couldn't mean, use it, but you know, it would be very peaceful. Right. Um, absolutely. So with the uh, Toys for Tots thing, um, if. Uh, we're, we're asking people just to bring like toys and gift cards and stuff like that out so we can help Leo get all those toys together. On the 17th, we're asking uh, basically just come out and, you know, help support the dads so we can kind of help them with their Christmas uh, for the kids. Um, and I think that's roughly about it. I really want to get you guys on the interview roster, though, but I'm I'm going into uh, we've got. um Let's see. Uh, December, we got the Silverback Rock and Roll Band. Uh, I don't know if you've seen them. They've been at Tanner's quite a few times. Um, they play the like 40s, 50s, 60s music. Right. Um, Sounds cool, but I, but I had no, I hadn't seen them yet. They're they're really cool. Um, but we're having a big old Christmas party on the 26th and doing their interview. Okay. Um, and then in um, January, of course, we're doing Power Surge with the Masquerade Party. Um, in February, we got Press Play with Jamie Crabtree and his wife. Um, okay. And uh, we're going to do um, a contest to who can dress like Cupid. So we're going to give away $100 at that one to whoever could look like Cupid the most. I feel like we'll see a lot of diapers on that one. I would imagine so. I'm excited about it, though. It it should be interesting. Lots of pictures are going to be taken. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, we got the Coming Home Band in March, uh, which we're going to do a St. Patty's Day party with them. Love the- those guys. Yes. Tony Madden and Amber Lee, they are awesome. Uh, Amber Lee has an amazing voice and she Tony does. is just phenomenal on that guitar. Um, her voice got, is so powerful. Yes. Dude, her, her lyrics alone are just amazing. And, yeah. it, you know, if you, if you love music and you can sit down and listen to her, I mean, literally, she she captivated me during one of her songs. She has a song written about, you know, some stuff that she went through as a kid, and it really touched home with me. And it um it was really nice. It was really nice to, you know, be there. Uh, I got to see her at uh, Swan's Brewing in Lakeland, mm-hmm. um, and that's when we set up the interview. A good friend of mine, uh, Leroy, took me out to see that show. Um, 
But we also have got um, a new uh, metal band that's up and coming, um, which, of course, it, you know, everybody knows that I have a new boyfriend. But we set this interview before we became a couple. Uh, but we got Burn Forever in May. Um, they're more like the <sighs> style. You know? I got you. Uh, but it's super hot, uh, I guess, and, and he's really cool and does it uh, awesomely. I can't do it, but he <laughs> seems to do a really badass job at it. Um, and then we have, uh, uh, oh my goodness, oh, Structured Sound in June, and we are, <laughs> we, we're, we had fun, we had them on the live the other day, and um Gur, what are you gurring? Yep, that, yeah, yeah, they growl very, he growls very weirdly. Um, <laughs> um <laughs> it, it, the uh, but we had the weird news on the live the other day with a uh, structured sound, and a dude was drinking uh, a, a fifth of vodka and trying to bake cookies on a George Foreman grill, and they were pot cookies, so. When we booked their interview, they said they wanted to have a Hawaiian barbecue with cookies on a George Foreman. Nice. So I'm so going to make that possible. Um, <laughs> you got to try that out? I, I am. And then we're doing M99. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but they're another, you know, heavy, uh, more heavy rock band. Um, and they're doing tacos along with uh, Burn Forever, who's doing tacos too. So we tried to have a small little party for everybody and you know just rock it out and do a little theme to it so we can um you know support the artist and say thank you for coming out on the weekends and you know whatever um right. we always do it on the 26th at six o'clock so we try to stay with the same day and time even though it could land on a monday or tuesday we try to bring people to come out and rock with us on monday and you know make an event of it so People can come dressed like Cupid. That's cool. In diapers and stuff. Right. And, yeah. Well, it sounds like uh, you're booked out quite a while uh, for that. Yeah, I have uh, July and April available. So those are the only ones that are that are quite quite in tune right now. Um, I've I've got a, a couple. I try to stay, you know, fluctuate with it, like interviewing quite, you know, different artists. Um, kind of right. like the, the lineup for the single dads for Christmas, you know, everybody in that lineup is a total different play. Um, and I like it that way. Cause you know, when you get a group of people out, you know, people like different stuff. So, you know, um, well, there's lots of variety. Right. And then if you, you know, you get kind of the same genre, you know, the bands end up picking the same damn songs and, you know, well, and you wind up with the same crowd all day as right. opposed to several different crowds you may show up at different times but you know when, when you're talking about a toys for tots thing if 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 they're all bringing one toy a piece to get in then right. um you know that's that's a that's a big deal if you get a different band in there and get their crowd to bring bring some toys out you know yeah well um the uh toys for tots that's even that's even more extensive i mean they he's got nine different ones on that one or eight right different, well I guess eight now since uh, the brothers are out, but um, yeah, the, um, I mean, it, it's going to be an awesome show and I just can't wait. Um, we'll be hosting the whole thing. So we'll be there the whole time. Um, we're hosting it for Leo and then we're, we're um, starting something up the next weekend for the, the single um, dads for Christmas. So it That's should cool. be a great time. That's cool. Well, before we, uh, we get off here. I wanted to point out that there is a couple events coming up for, for mama bland. Yeah. I know uh, a lot of us are, are familiar with the, the bland clan as they call them. And, yes. uh, you know, when they show up somewhere, they show up in, in force with, with, you know, a lot of people and, and always a good time. Well, right. um, I think, uh, everybody's probably aware by now that, uh, mama has been suffering from cancer. Um, I don't remember exactly what type but um so far it seems like she was cancer yeah um yeah. she's responding well to treatment however those treatments um even with their insurance um they have to pay 20 percent of the 
of the cost every okay. every treatment they show up to. So um, we've been raising money for them to help cover those costs so they don't have to sell everything off and start over fresh, you know, when uh, when she gets through this mess. Right. But uh, December 10th, there's going to be a dinner at the Apple. Okay. Um, and by dinner, it will they'll be serving uh, plates of food all day, uh, starting uh, probably about 11 o'clock, I believe, okay. some, somewhere in there. I'm not sure the specifics on the dinner itself, but I know they're going to have live music all day, and Jim and Judy is putting that on. Okay. Um, so uh, they have uh, – uh, they wrangled uh, me and Katie, so Diesel Daisy will be playing um, that day mm-hmm. from uh, one till one forty-five. Along, right. I think uh, Adrian Richards uh, will be playing ahead of us uh, from noon to one. Um, lots of uh, there will be playing. Jim and Judy will be playing, of course, and I believe the Wanted Band is playing at the end of that, toward, toward like four o'clock on. Right. Um, so uh, you know. Make sure you get out and check that out, everybody. Um, and then, of course, we're doing the poker run for Mama, which will happen uh, January 8th. Okay. Um, Spank and Sadie and Running Reckless will be playing the end of that poker run. Uh, uh, ends at the Moose. I believe it starts at TL's that day. Okay. Uh, kick stands up at like 1130, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But uh, – Anybody who's who's interested in coming on that ride, you know, look it up, find the details, and and it's going to be a, a great day uh, for Mama with uh, lots of good people around Polk County that we all know and love, and um, and then some great music at the end of it with, of course, with barbecue plates and stuff uh, that I believe can be included in the ride if you buy them uh, ahead of time. So, uh, so yeah, I just want to make sure those two events are are at the forefront of everybody's mind and make sure everybody plans to be there. Um, so that the eighth and the 10th, the eighth is the ride and the 10th is the, the, the show at the apple, right? December 10th is the, is the dinner at the apple. Yes. Okay. And, and then, then um, January 8th, January is, 8th. Okay. is the, the poker run. Okay. All right. Yep. Um, and, and if you guys don't know, uh, Brenda has, uh, yeah, got to get a bike. Mike, Mark said, um, <laughs> If you don't know Miss Brenda Bland, she is an amazing person, and she always comes out and supports all the live music. And you know, they do. he is right. You know, they always bring a huge crew. The whole family always comes out with them. So um, they've come to several, you know, um, charity events and help support locals in the area. Um, Huge supporters of all the charity events. So you know, it's it's they give, and it's time to give back to them. Absolutely. Know, when when they need it most. So absolutely. Well, we have uh, seven people on watching us now. So if you uh, if you know of Miss Brenda Bland, make sure you go check those dates out and go look at um, Mike Parker or um, Running Reckless's page and look at those and yes. or uh, Jim and Judy. Uh, you know they will have to as well. Um, and I always say if if you can't make it, you know if there's if there's an event that you know about. Um, and you want to go, but for whatever reason you can't because you've got other plans or something got in the way or whatever, just share it. You know, right. if you can't make it, share it, share it, share it a, a lot of times. You know, share, don't it, just share it once and forget it. Yeah, share it to yeah. your friends. Tag your friends in it who you think would would like to be there. Um, even, you know, people who don't know the plans. I mean, this isn't, you know, it isn't going to be, um, you know, beneficial just to, to people who – who know them. I mean, it's going to be a good time all day, regardless. Right. So. You know, a lot of people are affected, you know, uh, by cancer. And I think that, you know, it, it, is, it is really hard road to go down and especially to go down it, you know, with, you know, your mom, you know what I mean? Um, right. and, and Brenda Bland has been that mom for a lot of people, not only in the community, you know, but, you know, as close friends too, as well. Um, so yeah, most definitely, um, I'll be out there on the 10th. I, I don't have a bike, but I'll be there at the Apple on the 10th and, um, the 11th. I have of course the choice for tots, but I will make an appearance at the Apple and, and see if we can't get some of that, uh, recorded live for her so we can promote it and get it shared. 
all over. Right. So, um, but uh, that would be fantastic. Hell yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on with me, uh, Mike, and uh, spending your day at work with me. It was great talking to you and getting, you know, some 411 on the on the run and reckless crew. Well, it's been my pleasure. I uh, sorry I had to be working instead of uh, paying more attention, but it's okay. Uh, it is what it is. Hey, it's okay. You got a day job. That's right. You know, That's I, think right. It's, I think it's important for people to see how hard you work. <laughs> well, I don't know how hard it is, but um, but thank you. Um, uh, just so everybody knows, uh, we do have a few dates uh, scheduled uh, through December. But okay. uh, starting next year, Running Reckless will be a little harder to catch. Um especially around Polk County, considering that, you know, we used to play over here a lot every weekend um, at almost every place that you could play. Right. Um, and uh, kind of scaling it back. I mean, I've been doing this for the last five years um, and uh, uh, doing it every weekend. So, you know, I've got a motorcycle that I don't ride. Um, I've got a camper that I haven't been able to use much. Uh, which is for sale, by the way. <laughs> but uh, um, but no, just just gonna gonna take some time and and probably only play about uh, one maybe two weekends a month. So we're gonna be spreading ourselves a little thin over here, um, and uh, and hopefully we'll we'll catch everybody on on the shows that that we do make, um, and uh, and kind of spread ourselves around uh, Hillsborough County, you know, Tampa area. We've got some places that we play over there, and and, uh, and it's nice to get out and play at a different venue each weekend instead of playing the the, the same places all the time. And I don't want to say the same old places because I love you know the places that we play in Polk County, right? Um, but uh, and then of course you know some of them have have uh, gone away uh, as of yet. So, um, but uh, but anyways, Mark, Mark said keep it between the ditches, Mike. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll do the best I can, brother. But uh, but yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna scale it back a little bit and uh, you know focus on uh, on the quality of the music and um, uh, and we'll have fewer shows, but hopefully better shows and more people. So well, I mean, I'm sure if you take Running Reckless away from our Polk County people, they're gonna be kind of a little upset. Uh, <laughs> oh, it, well, it's definitely not taking them away. I mean, we we are booked at the at the bay uh, once a month. Uh, through this next year. Oh, so, you're definitely uh, going to be to have a huge bigger turnout than uh, I'm, yeah. I'm quite. Yeah. Up. We, I would, I would never turn Nancy down. Nancy is, is great. She's, uh, um, she's definitely a staple for live music and, uh, and, uh, Polk County, uh, Winter Haven, especially, um, you know, if I think at some point everybody aspires to play the Bay, uh, at least once, if, if not, you know, trying to get into Nancy's rotation. Right. And, uh, I mean, I know I, I wanted to be there, you know, when I first joined vegan zombies. Um, so, you know, it was a goal and, and we made it happen and Nancy brought us in and, and we haven't looked back. Right. So, um, you know, love that place. But, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely be around. Uh, there'll be some pop-up gigs here and there. I, I, we're, I mean, I've, I've got LAs on the calendar for, for January. Um, and, uh, you know, there'll, there'll be, there'll still be some Polk County venues that just won't be as numerous as they were before. Right. So, well, I hope to see you around and, uh, come to one of your shows. Of course, I'm going to see you. I don't, I'm always around. Yeah. You get around. <laughs> I don't like that. that. <laughs> that <one>. Well, <laughs> it, it, it happens. All right. All right, buddy. Well, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your day at work. And uh, I do want to thank Around Winter Haven Neighbors. If you look down at the bottom, they do sponsor our morning show. So if you don't know who Miss Holly Sears is, go and check them out. Get around cool. to Ireland. I I've never been to Ireland, dude. I, 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 that would be really cool. 
be really cool. I heard it's really green over there. <laughs> uh, but uh, we do want to thank around Winter Haven neighbors with Holly Sears for sponsoring the morning show. And then also Mike Parker for joining us with Running Reckless. And y'all go check out his page. Give him a like, a share. Make sure you go to some of the shows that he'll be having this upcoming year. Um, I'd like to go see raccoons. I've never been out to that location. I was supposed to go out a couple times, but I, I've just never been. So Come check us out. Fun. It'll be a good time over there. Yeah, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Fred and Melissa will be hanging out with us uh, over there Saturday night. Okay. Um, so uh, be a good time to come party with some Polk County peeps in, uh, in Valrico. Well, that's on the 11th, though, right? Or Saturday. That's that's uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow, the the 10th. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Wait, no, I'm lying. The third. The third. The tenth is um, Mama's thing. That's what I was thinking. Right, that's, right, yeah. That's the following week. <laughs> All the dates run together for me anymore. <laughs> you know, me too. I, you know, <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this lady called me the other day. She's like, yeah, you just called my band. I'm like, uh, which band? Band? <laughs> Which band? I've called a few. <laughs> um, there's been a, quite a lot. Uh, yeah, I get I get so confuzzled to myself in some things. So it's all right. right. That's what we got reminders on our phone for. That's right. That's right. <laughs> hey, also, um, uh, while I'm thinking about it, uh, so December 10th is a really busy day for me. Um, I have. Uh, uh, Mama's thing, uh, mm -hmm. from which we're like I said, we're playing from from one to almost two, um, and then um, I'm playing at the bay right. uh, <clears throat> from two to six that day, right? And then um, I'm headed over to Raccoons that night as well to fill in with Blue Collar uh, once again. So uh, yeah. that's going to be uh, uh, an extremely busy day. But uh, or actually, is that? Hang on a second. I mean, you are trying to rock maybe. star it out, aren't you? I may be. I may be wrong on that. Let me look at the calendar real quick before I get ahead of myself because I want to be right on the dates. Okay. All right. No. So uh, I take that back. That's actually the next weekend that I play at the Bay from two to six, and then Raccoons that night. And then, of course, we're back at the Bay on that Sunday as well. So Running Reckless will be hitting the Bay twice that weekend um, for uh, for Sunday Fun Day. But, so that's, uh, that's the 17th and the 18th. Yes. Um, but no, de December 10th, uh, Diesel Daisy at the Apple for Mama's Benefit. And right. then that night is uh, Red Star Live. Um, that, that's, that's, that's our first show that we'll be playing uh, at a venue that's in the same complex as Brandon Harley. Uh, so it's, it's, right, it's tied in with Brandon Harley over there. Um, and they've, they've got a pretty good, uh, live music, uh, set up and, uh, uh, it'll be our first show over there. So, uh, and they sell tickets to that event as well. If you get them, uh, early, they're free, but uh, I think, uh, the night of it's like a $5 charge or something like that. It's not uh, too expensive, but it's a pretty, pretty good bar and grill, um, uh, and live music venue. So we're, we're going to go check it out and, and rock that place. Uh, on the 10th. So my, my Saturdays are extremely busy, which is why I haven't, uh, haven't been on your calendar uh, uh, as of yet, but, uh, but we'll get there. Yes. Hopefully when you start taking some slower time, we can get you out and just have a party for you and just, that'd be you great. Know, you know, then, then you could do whatever the heck you want. That's right. That's right. We'll get the guys from the band involved and, uh, and we'll come hang out with you. And we got to pick a good month so we can have a good, good thing. Good, good turnout, yes. Yeah. I was I know right where that is, been there a few times. Oh, uh he said he See, thought it was tonight. Mark's been around too. Yes. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you two. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Uh yeah, uh I don't know. It, it should be great. Um what was I going to say? I was going to say something. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Went out the window. It's gone. It's the dreads, man. They, they're too tight. <laughs> <laughs> They've gone to the head. <laughs> he said, <laughs> Mark said, fuck you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Mark oh, was man. a fan of Freebird. <laughs> I heard that's Blake Free's favorite song to play. <laughs> right, right. Uh, we were at Gary PK's birthday party, and he's like, I'm not playing Freebird. I'm not working. <laughs> <laughs> right. <like>, yeah. <laughs> It was great, but um, all right, dude. Well, thanks so much. I hope you have a good day. Uh, we're Probably gonna wrap too. it up. Uh, it's we try to keep it under forty five minutes for Holly. Holly runs the live, so you know the lives that she buys so much live time. So each mm-hmm. morning we do about a forty five, and then that way we don't we don't run out before we have to you know buy okay. the next month. Um, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, she's awesome though. She so she comes out and uses the same programming for our interviews and stuff, so it, it's pretty cool, you know. Cool. Uh, love you, Mark. Uh, he said, "Love you too." He he loves you, big boy. He said, "Love you, big daddy." <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> well, oh, I hope you have a great day. Paul Thomas, have a good weekend, Mike. Uh, the lead singer of Joe's Garage Band. Um, I know, Paul. Yes. Ah, uh, Miss Bonifay, I hope you have a wonderful day, love. Bye, Janine. Um, all right, dude. Well, you be careful on that road and uh Absolutely. Don't, uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. I mean, it gives you a really broad spectrum, but doesn't leave a whole lot. Oh, very true. Very true. Have a great day. All right, you too, love. Y'all have a good day. All right, bye-bye.